video we will be demonstrating how to install a fence post. We will be installing one of our slotted timber jack posts, which are guaranteed for 25 years against rot and insect attack. There are other variations of this post with corner, intermediate, end and angled options available. And we also have metal mighty garden fence posts. The tools and materials that are required to install a fence post can be found at the end of this video. Before you start, it is important to plan where the fence will be installed. We have a number of blogs on our Jackson's Fencing website that offer advice on location, planning and how to clear the site. You will be required to work out the materials needed and if unsure, you can use our fence builder on our website to calculate exactly what is required. Before any hole is dug, we recommend investigating the location for underground services and checking the area with a cable avoidance tool. Watch out for signs of services, for example coloured gravel, as excavation continues. When the location is known, the first hole can be dug. The easiest and quickest way to dig a hole is to use a post hole spade and a shove holer to remove the soil. This will help to keep the hole side straight. If flint, rocks or stones are present, then a digging bar can be of use. The most common depth for a fence post is 600mm minimum in the ground. However, this will be dependent on the height, type of fence as well as the ground conditions. After the hole has been dug to the correct depth, it is important to add a minimum of 50mm of ballast or gravel to the bottom of the hole for drainage. Please note that the depth will be determined by the height of the post out of the ground, the gravel board and the fence panel plus any additional topper panels if they are being used. Place the fence post into the hole. Confirm that the height above the ground will be the correct height. Make sure the slots in the post are facing straight down the fence line and the post sides are horizontal with the fence line. Using a spirit level, make sure that the post is vertically straight. At this point, it is good to get someone else to hold the post or it can be secured with pieces of timber to make sure it is held straight and doesn't move. The next step is to secure the post in place using concrete. A post fixing mix is the most common way to secure fence posts in the ground. Follow the instructions on the bag and filter 50mm below the soil level. Continue to check that the post is vertically straight using a spirit level again while filling the hole with the post fixing mix. Tamp down the mix at ground level. The mix should gently slope away from the post. This will help water run away from the post instead of sitting at the base. To do this, use a trowel to slope the concrete mix and wait for the post to set as per the instructions. To stop any unsightly marks on the post, make sure the post fixing mix has gently been washed off of the post. At this point, if the post is standing alone, it can be backfilled to ground level to make sure the installation looks as good as possible. This is usually done at the end of the whole installation as the rest of the fence panels and the gravel boards may need to be attached first. As mentioned at the start of this video, the tools and materials that are recommended to install a fence post are a cable avoidance tool, a post hole spade, a shove holer, a tape measure, a spirit level, timber battens, a trowel, pegs and multi-purpose string length, post fixing mix and water, and a slotted timber post. For advice on how to install a fence panel, watch our fence panel installation video. Or if you need professional help, contact us regarding our nationwide approved installer scheme.